Thieves are going to extremes on Vancouver Island to cash in on copper wire, and this time it's caused serious injuries. Police in Ladysmith are appealing to the public for help after a man cut down a hydro pole in a desperate attempt to get to the copper. Dean Stoltz reports. This is all that's left of a wooden hydro pole after someone's dangerous attempt to steal copper. Apparently somebody came by here and decided the best way to get some copper wire was to cut down a power pole. And uh, unfortunately, uh, it caused immense damage for us, uh, spill of the transformer. And apparently the uh, uh, thief was uh, injured during the incident. And this is just a, another example of the brazen, the desperate attempts by people to try and steal copper. It happened Thursday afternoon in broad daylight on Spruceton Road, several kilometers from the Trans-Canada. Police say a man cut the pole down with a chainsaw. It was one like this with a transformer on top. And when it fell or soon afterwards, he was shocked by 25,000 volts of electricity going through the line. First witnesses on the scene observed a male bleeding from the mouth and nose passed out in the ditch with a frantic female on scene. There was a power pole line across the road of Spruceton Road that had been cut down with a chainsaw and there were power lines everywhere. The man was likely seriously injured, but remarkably, he suddenly came to and against the advice of a 911 operator who was on the phone with a passerby, the man with the woman stumbled away on foot. And a green pickup truck was seen pulling or attempting to pull the hydro pole off the road. So police think at least three people were involved and one of them could still be seriously hurt. No one with similar type injuries has gone to area hospitals, but one doctor tells me the injuries could be much more severe than what appears on the surface and that muscle damage, for example, could be permanent. He adds if the person is in pain, he should go to hospital immediately. Now, this wasn't the only attempted theft of copper from BC Hydro on Thursday. As we reported from Port Alberni, thieves cut through this fence of a substation overnight and made off with copper wiring. This time they seem to have escaped injury, but the damage they did cut power to 4,000 people on the west coast. BC Hydro officials have been warning that someone will get hurt or killed doing this, and now it seems to have happened. Um, I guess they're just desperate for the, uh, for the money, whether it's a, for part of a, a, a drug culture or anything like that, that requires them to, to steal copper to get the money. Um, it's a, just a desperate measure and it's an uh, unbelievable risk they're putting themselves in.